behalf of my government, I want to welcome all the SECAFA staffs and other guests. And uh, on behalf of my office, me representing the Eritrean Mapping Information Center, I will try to give you a brief information of the ongoing development in Eritrea. As everybody, everybody knows, Eritrea is a young nation. Eritrea is, in 1991 we get our independence. Almost 20 years has been in the struggle for sovereignty for our nation. In these 60 years, the Eritrean people has fought for its independence and sovereignty. And for the six years, only eight years was the Independence Day. And within eight days, uh, eight years, we tried to develop our country. Meanwhile, even though we had a very challenging situation, the government and the people of Eritrea didn't want to stay without any progress in Eritrea. And the first and foremost is our mission, so social justice. The social justice, it means to give the all Eritreans the right to have equal sharing for all its wealth in Eritrea. So the main is education for all Eritreans, health for all Eritreans, transportation, communication, and potable water for all Eritreans. So in this 25 years, our main aim and goals was this aim. And being even in a heavy sovereign struggle, it, but now overcome it in peace and stability, with these 20 years, we were just working all over Eritrea. I could briefly give you the statistical information what we did especially if I wanted to give you a brief statement in education. In 1991, we had only 100,000 students in all Eritrea, with 200 different schools, with one university. At these days, we have 800,000 students, <coughs> with 1,300 more schools. In the health sector, we have already overcome the Millennium Development Goals, and now we are through to sustainable development goals it is one of the nations that polio is already eradicated malaria is already under control death rate mother and the child death rate is almost controlled we have only 365 days rates upon the 50,000 women that who considers so the very fast and progressive uh, development progress is undergoing in Eritrea. And for transportation, almost half of our population can get the transportation. And for the communication, partly of the Eritrean sites, they cannot communicate, but we have three lines of communications. And potable uh, water, we have 85% of our population drinking pure water, so that we don't have disease related to water. And this is the main goal and the, ma the main path that we, we are running. So you didn't see in uh, Asmara very high scale scrapers, but our intention is, first of all, to conserve soil and water conservation, because having water in different area and due to our strategic position under Sahara's country, having not water, erratic uh, rainfall, we have to have enough water to any development, irrigation, potable water and other uses. At this moment, we have 365 ponds and reservoirs, the mini minimum of 180,000 meter cube and the maximum 330 million meter cube of reservoirs. So we have in different part of Eritrea. In our classification, Eritrea is divided in three parts, the central part, the western part, and the eastern part. So in this area, the western part nowadays is almost covered with all the uh, ponds and uh, dams. The central part, as you visit it now, is one of the parts in central part called uh, uh, Logo Dam. And the aim, the aim is always to conserve water and soil. Having this potable water and for irrigation to the neighbors, villagers uh, around us, so 
we will have two, three times plowing and harvesting in all parts of Eritrea. This dam has been constructed by rock fill dam. It means rock and concrete dam. It has a height of 42 meters and uh, width of the base is 42 meters. This uh, dam, speciality of this dam is we constructed this dam in one and a half years only. And there is a, a say, if you want to remove a mountain, you have to leave one stone a day. So this is our preliminary uh, work. And from this dam, if you see up on that, you see the containers and through pumps will, that is elevation 2135. And from that elevation, we will distribute our water to all this area for development and potable water by gravity. This is in brief. In this area, we have two dams. This is the main dam constructed in Rockfield Dam. And if you see in your uh, left, we have another uh, earth dam. You see the riprap of the uh, dams. That is uh, uh, the second dam. And it has been built simply to, uh, to prevent the skipness of the water. Once it refills uh, at elevation of uh, 38 meters in that area, water would, would be uh, skipping. So there is a saddle dam to prevent the spillage of water. So this is in brief. If there are some questions, I would like to answer the questions. And this is the motto, principles, and uh, the development progress of Eritrea. You said the construction of the dams is done by Eritreans, no local, no, no foreign companies doing it? No. We designed it, we, uh, everything we did it, and then we construct by ourselves. Not only this dam. If it's possible, I would like to show you all the dams that we constructed. This is 31 million uh, container. Uh, and uh, the second one we will go and we'll see the 38 million meter cube reservoir. But the biggest, the 330 million, were uh, around this uh, lake. There is 20,000 hectares of uh, development. It would be preferable if you have time to visit that one. So you will verify, justify, and as an ambassador of Eritrean, tomorrow after tomorrow, you will enlighten our brothers in Africa so that we will have, we will share all this possibilities. Am I clear? Yes. Yes. I thank you for your... Uh... For sure. For sure. I thank you for this uh, recommendation because I saw and congratulate everybody here that participated in Sekafa because we saw this young uh, energetic players that they changed the football scene. So for sure there will be more uh, stadiums and uh, more participants in the in the uh, sport arena so i i thank you for everybody so.
welcome to your second home Eritrea and to Halhala Dairy Farm. Uh, this farm is established in uh, by the end of 2017 on November by importing 660 uh, milking cows uh, in cafe first of the milking breeds which are the Holstein Frisian, Brown Swiss and Cimental or they call it also flat flattened breeds. And since then, by 2018, again on November, after uh, taking uh, all the considerations, adaptations, and uh, the acclimatizations on this condition, uh, we decided to import the three breeds, but on different uh, number. Again, we import Park Vim, in, which is the most adapted uh, <coughs> cows to our environment and then brown seeds and less amounts of this Holstein uh, region. Uh, totally, uh, up to now, we have about uh, 2,000 uh, hairs of different category, including the male calves, and out of which we are uh, milking uh, 300, 350 uh, milking cows. And on this side, we are now on the milking parlor, which is the latest and modern uh, milking parlor uh, in its kind. In different areas, they have the, the same type, but not the same to the numbers. Because we have the maximum number in Africa, 30 by 30, that means 60 milking uh, hairs at a time. The maximum that we have seen or that we have here is up to 40, uh, the average in African South Africa. So this is on uh, constru uh, construction uh, ways. It's not yet finished, but we hope on the coming months, by the end of September, we will start working with this uh, milking parlor. So this is a uh, uh, general information that we have.
now we have a very big plant, as I told you before, yes. the 20 mega. This is 4 mega. Yes, four mega. The 20 mega, 30 mega. Imagine how big is it? Uh, the, the, the space? No, no, for this, for this area, it's only 4 mega. Ah. For, for Masawa and Asap, yeah. we have 50 mega of solar panel to be installed. Hey, big space. Yeah, big space. So our short visit was to see and yeah. to uh, verify yeah. that Eritrea is on a progress to yeah. make the renewable energy. Yeah. And after collecting uh, the high voltage, will be from here? Yeah, the, uh, it will be inserted in the grid. That. So all the villages here, they will be beneficial from this uh, yeah. solar energy. Through solar now, solar yeah, systems? Yeah, through yeah. yeah. solar systems. The only thing that remains is to install this with the generators and from the generators there is a, a optic cable mm -hmm. and then we have to make the distribution lines. Mm -hmm. But it's functional, you know, it's checked, everything is proper. From DC to AC, mm -hmm. the converters are already installed. And the volume of this dam is 38 million meter cube. So, what is the aim of constructing this dam at the Logo Dam? In the upper or in the north, we have Logo Dam, and then south, we have the Gara Dam. Two integrated, we will develop all this area 10,000 to 15,000 hectares of developed area. Here, around uh, 150 to 100,000 people about. So they will manage their own agricultural farms. If you see in that area, that is 2050, we call it, the lava is called it. And then if you see back to you, there are water pumps. On that water pump, we are conveying our water in that elevation. So with gravity, we are restarting. The design is already finished, and the leveling we have already started. Simply because the uh, summertime, every agriculture has to be ploughed and we have to use this uh, rainy season. But starting from the end of this uh, rainy season and uh, after harvesting our uh, crop, we we'll start immediately leveling and distribution of water system. So this is the aim. We saw the uh, energy and with this energy more solar pump or uh, solar uh, energy, we will integrate the uh, thermal energy, integrate it, we will even develop or we will give energy to all these villages that we have around. So this is the aim, this is the motto, this is social justice, and this is one of the 365 reservoirs constructed in Eritrea. And this is the third one, but the biggest. The second one, you will see if you have time in Gahtalai, that contain 50 million and different ranges. This is a Masonar dam, but that one is gravity dam.
So even this gravity down will be finished this year. We've visited the dams, we've seen the cheese processing farm and uh, the, the, the upcoming uh, milk processing plant and the cows and I, I'm just amazed at what Eritrea is doing by themselves and uh, using their own manpower and their own young people. These uh, Sekafa officials are being ambassadors of Eritrea now because they, they know the country well. Uh, they know the prevailing peace, they have tested it, they have seen by their own eyes and they have filled it. So uh, they are informing us to come and to prepare a short tournament also in a short period of time. That's the message that we are, uh, the feedback that we are getting from the officials because they are really impressed by what they have seen in Eritrea. So uh, that's also uh, football. Football is everything. Football is not only kicking the ball. Football is everything. So we have really uh, achieved our objective in this uh, regard. So we have created uh, more than 30 ambassadors in Africa, in Sekafa. So they will uh, say every good things about Eritrea and its people and its government now. I take this opportunity to thank uh, Eritrean government and uh, Eritrean National Football Federation for this tour. Uh, for me, I'm very, very impressed by the achievement for, from uh, European country. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very, very impressed because uh, we see now with peace, Eritrean people can do everything. And uh, we have visited uh, uh, two dams now uh, with uh, a, a power plant, uh, in a solar energy power plant. And uh, we see now Eritrean people themselves, they can do something and to develop this country, but with peace. Uh, and after that, we go with a good impression uh, and uh, we explain that in our country uh, to give them a strong message to work like Eritrean because we see Eritrean, they are proud with their country mm -hmm. and they are trying to do their best to develop their country. I'm so impressed and uh, thanks to the Eritrean uh, FA that has managed to arrange this kind of trip so that we can visit uh, the uh, Eritrea outside Asmala. Uh, we've seen so many dams, we've seen so many projects. Your country is very virgin, which is good. What now remains is the, the leadership of the country to ensure that uh, you devote to a more standard or to a more pleasing uh, level based on the targets of your government. And to the youth, just love your country and do whatever it takes to develop your country because without Eritrea, there's no more. You, you cannot be there without Eritrea. Yes. Without peace, you cannot be there. Definitely. All of us cannot be there. Definitely. So it's all about uh, just calling everyone to work out to their country, to love Eritrea and uh, ensure that uh, you develop and uh, I believe you're going to make it. You know, when you are outside, you hear a lot of things. But going through and observing for ourselves the developmental measures which uh, is taken by different different uh, institutions, we are so impressed. Um, and we think uh, after two, three, four years, uh, Eritrea will be somewhere. We are in uh, Zubadubu, as a PLC, as a uh, 
dairy products. Uh, Hera Mangas are the uh, governor of this uh, uh, sub-region of Arwa and the cultural uh, troop of the uh, region, the, 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 the province. Uh, so before going to other uh, uh, to the program, I will uh, like to call the manager and the owner of uh, this uh, PLC, uh, Mr. Uh, Abraham. He is one of the 132 uh, registered cheese expertise in Europe and uh, is working here. Uh, so uh, he will give us a, a brief introduction on the, on the process of the, the, the PLC. Uh, welcome to our farm. Uh, our name is Aze. The farm's name is my mother's name. It's a family-owned farm. Uh, me as a manager and an ex as an expert of the cheese making, I'm responsible for cheese making and overall management in the farm. As you see, the farm is not an old farm, an age of 12 years, and the cheese making. Originally, it was a chicken farm before. So now we are dealing with the dairy farm and the milk processing at this time. As an educational background, I am an uh, MSc in uh, food technology and specialized in milk technology. So I am here responsible for making the food items here in the project. As you see, the farm is not big, but now we are on the extension of the big project on the right side. Here our capacity is 10,000 liters a day at this time, so maybe after two months Expecting on the new year, we'll, have, we'll rise to 100,000 liters capacity per day. So we are doing the construction now. Uh, the, the construction and the investment is a bit heavy. That's why we look a bit tired here. <laughs> anyway, here we are, you are here to see our development in the dairy industry in the country. Uh, our country is a bit developed than our neighbors in cheese making, especially in Italian cheese making, comparing to our neighbor countries. Uh, by culture, cheese making is originally started in, during the Italian colonization time before 65 years or 70 years. So the culture knows how to make cheese and how to use it. All the ordinary families used to have cheese in their daily dishes, we can say, uh, on different levels. So now we are doing here the Italian design cheese making. We produce 19 varieties of cheeses here. We just start exporting to Middle East and the Sudan before just one, two or three months. So we have an enough supply to the country, the mining companies. Uh, we have two mining companies and uh, five star hotels. We are supplying these companies also. So uh, you will see here, uh, maybe you will see cows around. And we have also some few numbers of cows here in the farm. So uh, you will try our production as a breakfast here, then uh, you will see our small scale production also, maybe if you are interested to see that one. Thank you very much. So now we can start to the breakfast, right uh, from our, uh, at the back of our seats. Please, they're waiting at the back.
start this competition, football is not only kicking the ball at the ground level. It's everything. Football is not only kicking the ball. So that's why the Eritrean National Football Federation, in collaboration with the presidential office, uh, you have seen the Adhalo uh, project, explained by uh, the presidential member of the, uh, of the president office, Jometra Getacho, he has explained it, everything. So uh, you can see that Eritrea is now <coughs> coming to the right track as before. And uh, believe me, after two, three years, you will see a different Eritrea now, different Eritrea. So uh, you came here due to football, but we are also enjoying other social, political. You have seen the peace prevailing in the country. Everywhere, in every corner of Eritrea, it's like that. There is peaceful uh, mind of the Eritrean people, peaceful way of life, and everything. So, uh, finally, I would also like to <coughs> congratulate the Dobub region, administrative region, for preparing this kind of uh, occasion to uh, receive us in this way because we were not expecting like this, but it's beyond our expectation. Thank you, Mr. Abraham and the regional administration, and also thank you, the Asia Farm uh, product uh, for the Warwa region. So the also there is also administrator of the Warwa here among us. So everyone, everyone is included now. Uh, you can see the social uh, integration of the Eritrean uh, people. And we hope uh, you will see next time when we prepare and host the under 20, the under 17 women's uh, tournament here in Eritrea, you will see a different Eritrea, a different uh, development sites we, uh, we will show you. Then uh, I will conclude my uh, information like this and I will invite Madame Doris to say a few words of her impression about this. Thank you. Uh, good, good morning or good afternoon, everyone. I must say that we are so impressed. Since we came to Eritrea, it has been a lovely journey. We've had a lot of peace, a lot of love from Eritrean people, a lot of cooperation from uh, the Federation and from the government officials we have interacted with. We have a lot of peace in the grounds where we play. There's been, uh, it has been tremendous. I'm so impressed that most of the things we are consuming in Eritrea is by Eritreans. Not even most of some development, developed countries are still doing a lot of importation. But this is tremendous and I think Eritrea is on the right track. As football, just as the president has said, it's not just a play, about playing football. But it's about creating friendships, creating relationships, making making uh, relationships that can work business-wise, even playing. And what we have seen so far, President, I can assure you, you have given us enough reason to come again to Eritrea with another competition. I really want to appreciate this breakfast. So fresh, so regional. Thank you. Personally, I'm not a lover of cheese, but I tested and I went back for a second, a second help, helping to take more, keep it up. And to the engineer of the dams, I know the whole world and you people know the story of dams in Kenya. I'm so impressed that you are doing this by yourself, by Eritreans, planning and doing and succeeding within a very short time. May God bless Eritrea. May God grow you. Keep the peace. Okay, maybe now before leaving, we will have one uh, music uh, in order to conclude our uh, breakfast session and leave to the next ones. Thank you very much. Sekafa. Hi. Welcome, welcome.
of the Federation of Football in, the, in this region, uh, in the Bub region. So uh, he will uh, have, uh, give us regarding our trip. Okay, thank you. Uh, dear guests, firstly, I would like to convey my regards on behalf of the people of the Bub region, the Zoba administration, and the cultural group of so, I don't have much to say, but we are very glad to see you visiting us. So, we, have, we know that you have enjoyed a lot in Eritrea, and Eritrea have given the pleasure to you, and I think you have felt at home. 
And now, after finishing these games, I think you are going to your country back. Then you have to tell whatever you have seen in Eritrea. And we would like to thank you for your coming and visiting us. So, long live for Sekapa. And we hope next time the tournaments will be held in our region here. Yeah. So, this is enough for me. I would like to thank you very much, very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much and give one round of applause for everything.